Let's start cooking. Today I'm going to make taco ranch bites. Six ingredients, real simple. Um, you got to get the phyllo shells. Make sure the, sh the shells, not the puff pastry. Then I got to, you know, I have to change the recipe a little bit. Then it's, it calls for one can of Rotel um, diced tomatoes with green chilies. I got the fire roasted. And I promised I was going to try and be more healthy um, this year. Plant-based ranch. Now it only calls for eight ounces. That's 16 ounces. So if anybody doesn't know, eight ounces is a cup. So I'm going to measure a cup out of there. So that's on ground beef, one pound package of taco seasoning whatever kind you like I just happen to get that and the recipe calls for a cup and a half of cheddar cheese but if you know me I got a cheater I'm gonna also add Fiesta as Campbell's I'm gonna use half of this and I'm not gonna use a cup and a half of that cheese I'm gonna grate it and then I got my little scoop there um, these cook for like 10 12 minutes I think you go a couple minutes longer if they're frozen mine or not because I took them out it's only 15 in there and I got a feeling it's gonna make a bunch more but um, I got more in the um, after I finish filming if I have a lot of meat left I'll just go ahead and make some more so I'm gonna put you guys on pause and get everything set up and um, we'll start cooking and remember I have a joke for you and thanks for stopping by if you like this video please like and subscribe see you in a minute Hope Okay, I've got one pound of ground beef here. Um, it's just 80, 20, I believe, or so. I think it's 19. But anyway, I'm just cooking this till all the pink is gone. And I know you don't want to sit here and watch this. So I'm gonna put you guys back on pause because I'm gonna show you that I am gonna drain all the grease off of this as soon as this is uh, finished cooking. And I apologize, I didn't use a skillet. I preferred this Dutch oven because when I add all the stuff to it, I don't know if it's gonna run over. I didn't want it to be close because I don't want to clean anything up. You know, your girl is trying to do as less cleaning as possible. I'm gonna put you on pause, cut this back up on high, and get everything set up. Okay, as you can see, I've got all the grease drained off of it. The recipe calls for one can of the Rotel. I think it's a bit much, but okay. And one package of taco seasoning. Like I said, get any kind, oh no, get any kind you want. And, um, it really says, or you can use your own special um, spices for uh, Mexican food. My girlfriend's dad, Libby, who passed away, he had the best recipe ever. I would give two teeth for it, but um, so in the meanwhile, anyway, I use uh, packages. A lot of times I'll add some cumin or some extra stuff to this, but this time I'm not going to. So I'm just stirring this in like this, and then the recipe calls for one cup ranch dressing. I've already measured that out, so I'll pour that in. Let's see, it's going to take this to get it all out. It also calls for a cup and a half of cheddar cheese or shredded cheese. I'm going to use a half a can of this. I usually always put this in my Mexican food when we make because as you see, it's got peppers and stuff in there. It's Fiesta cheese, my Campbell soup. Mix that in. Also have a lime baking sheet I have right here. I totally covered it because you know I don't want to do any dishes. So I'm just waiting for that to heat up. I want this to get there. It is okay. Once this is warm. Now this also calls for cheddar cheese. So a cup and a half. I didn't grate up a cup and a half. I guess that's maybe half a cup. Cause I like the way it looks when you uh, spoon this out. So I'm gonna turn this off. It's already done. I just want the cheese to kind of melt through there like that 
Okay, so I'm gonna put you guys back on pause and get the little shelf set up so you can see how this works. Okay, I'm back. Now you, I have the shelves. I'm gonna show you how they come, which is pretty cool. And if you're gonna freeze these, the recipe I found, even though I did the exact recipe as I found it, except I used um, Fiesta cheese, you know, I always gotta try and take it up a level. And I also, um, what else did I do different? Um, no, I can't remember. But anyway, um, I used the fire roasted chilies instead of just plain chilies. Now I let these thaw and you just take them out. And the, the recipe, um, as I was gonna say, if you're not gonna eat them all, you can save this and put them right back in here and put them in a Ziploc bag and freeze them. And that way, they're easier to store, which I thought was the bomb. So, like I said, it looks like a lot of meat. It only comes with 15 shells in a box, but I have a whole nother box in the freezer. And like I said, you can cook these. I can go ahead and take them out off camera and keep going and um, make them, they just cook a little longer. So I wouldn't cook them on this pan because I'm gonna do this one time and then like I said, there's a lot of meat left. Um, I'll go ahead and do some more. So that's it. I've got an itty bitty scoop here. I'm gonna go ahead and try not to make a mess. See, I like the Fiesta cheese because it has more flavor. It's got spices and stuff in it instead of just the plain cheddar. But I think the cheddar is what tightens it up a little bit because you know that um, Fiesta cheese is kind of loose. So we'll see how this turns out. Kind of easy if you use a scoop like this. This is an itty bitty one. I don't actually know the exact size, but um, oops. Let's see what happens when you're in a hurry. Put that in there like that. Well, these tomatoes are what's going all over the place. But that's what makes it look good. Oh, let's see, this is getting crazy. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys on pause and get these all done so you can see what they look like before I make too much of a mess. Okay, I put them in the oven, it's 15 of them. They're supposed to cook 12, 10 to 12 minutes, so I'm gonna set the timer for 10 and come back and we'll take a look at them and see if they're ready and then I'll tell you my joke. Okay, I just took them out of the oven. Actually, these cook 20 minutes. And um, yeah, they're done now. It said uh, 10 to 12 and these were thawed. And yeah, I'm gonna have to cook some more because I'm gonna show you. Let me turn the camera around. Got all that left. So I took out another box and I'm gonna go ahead and um, make some more out of that meat with those. So anyway, I'm going to get this set up and tell you guys my joke. Okay guys, this is it. This is 30 of them and clearly there's enough meat here for another 15. So I would say if you're going to make this recipe, it costs for a pound of ground beef um, and you see how many you get. You get 45 easy. So um, I only had two boxes. So I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and cook the rest of these tomorrow. So let me tell you my joke. A couple re returns from their honeymoon refusing to speak to each other. The groom's best friend takes him aside and asks, what's wrong? Well, the man replies, when we finished making love on the first night, I put a $50 bill on the pillow without thinking. He says, oh, you shouldn't worry about that too much, says his friend. I'm sure your wife will get over it soon. She can't expect you have been saving yourself all these years for her. He said, that's not the problem, the groom says. He says, she gave me $20 and change. Well, that's my joke. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, God bless. Have a good evening. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And um, hit the notification button. Um, this will be the first video um, for appetizers, tailgating, or whatever for the week of Super Bowl. So there will be five videos that week. So if you see this one, there's four more to go. And um, good luck and um, have a good evening.